Okay, for this question then, we've got to increase the profits and that means making the speed of the wheel go faster. So it's going to do more turns and we're asked to see how we would adapt this equation so it does more turns. Well, what you have to do is increase this value 80. So for instance, you could have something like this. If we increase 80 in the formula, we could choose say 160. We're going to get this equation here. Now you might be thinking, well, why is that? Okay, so I'm going to just take you through this part if it's causing any problem. What I would say is that you should think of letting theta represent the ATT. So our equation becomes this, okay, where I've just replaced the ATT with theta. And if you were to plot this graph, then you're going to get the graph that we were given essentially in the question, okay? So if the wheel is to speed up, then I would expect there to be a lot more waves in this section here. Say something like this, we've increased the frequency. And what we've effectively got is a stretch of the original curve, h of f of theta. This example I've given you here is h of 2 theta. I've doubled this value here and I've got my 160t in place. And what this does to the original curve, you should be familiar with this, it causes a stretch of scale factor a half. If you're unsure of these, do go back and look at my tutorials on this, okay, on stretches. So h of f of a theta, where a is greater than 1, stretches the original graph by a scale factor of 1 over a, parallel to the theta axis. So we're stretching this then, if a is 2, we're stretching this by a half, and you can see the effect. So this means, in order to do this, we have got to increase our value of 80. All right, so I hope that gives you an idea then of how to do this question if it was causing any problems. All right.